I did, Jennifer, and this school is not taking any chances. School officials say this is what football games are going to look like for the foreseeable future. Groveport Madison school officials are determined to keep the trouble away from Friday night lights. I think it's going to be a very safe environment for our, our students and, and community. They are implementing new safety measures at football games. The cruisers have had a rocky start to back to back seasons. Turn around. At last week's away game at Canal Winchester, four teenagers were arrested and police confiscated three automatic weapons. During last year's opening game at Groveport Madison, shots were fired outside the stadium. I think another really big key point is last year and this year, they weren't students associated with either school. Um, very unfortunate situations. Um, and last year's incident started a, cha a chain reaction, a process with us. Tonight, no backpacks will be allowed inside. People are also not allowed to re-enter after they exit. The biggest change... We went through a big vetting process and the board decided to go with the Evolve Systems. Everyone who comes to tonight's Groveport Madison football game will have to go through one of these. If you're carrying something that could be considered a weapon, this is what will happen. We hope that A, it's, it's a, a feeling of safety and security, but B, it's a deterrent. The system will show security the exact location of the potential weapon. And see if that person still wants to try to come here that might have a weapon, you're going to get caught. Police will also be stepping up their patrols. There will be 10 Groveport officers at tonight's game. The visiting team, Gahanna, is also sending six officers. It's a sad, sad uh, state of society that we have to put this many police officers at a game. It's supposed to be a game. It's supposed to be fun. It's Groveport officials say they are confident tonight's game will just be about fun. Groveport says they have been using these weapon detectors every day at the start of school since the beginning of the year, and so far it's been a success. Local for you in Groveport, I'm Anna Hoffman, NBC4.